If you ever listen to music on Android, iPhone, or even Mac OS, you probably have the same problem that I have, and that's that volume control on these devices kind of sucks. Either volume's too quiet or it's too loud, and that's because these devices, by default, they don't give you full granular control over your volume. Or do they? Hey folks, I'm Mark Ryan. This is Super Review, and in this episode of Waveguide, I'm gonna show you how to unlock better volume control in your Android, iOS, and macOS devices. Now, Windows folks, I don't know if you have anything to worry about, actually, but for the rest of you, you know what I'm talking about, or you've learned to cope so hard that you've kind of forgotten how much bad volume control can actually kind of ruin your music. And if you like the idea of helpful content like this, well, shout out to our sponsor, Hi-Fi Go. We'll talk more about them later, but for now, let me show you the problem. Okay, we're talking about volume control, by which I mean being able to set the volume at exactly the level you want to listen to. Too quiet, and the music's maybe not as engaging as it should be. Maybe you can't even appreciate all of the details. But too loud, and at best, it can be a little bit uncomfortable, and at worst, it can actually be bad for your hearing. And the reason we have this problem is that with modern operating systems, they try to simplify our lives by giving us fewer steps of volume, right? Basically making it so that you can go from 0% volume up to 100% volume without having to click the volume button literally 100 times. Now, instead of having 100 steps of volume, usually with these devices, you'll have 15, 16, maybe 25 steps of volume. And that's like increasing the volume by four to 7% with each click of the button. And that could just really make it difficult to find the exact level of volume I wanna to listen to. But thankfully, there are solutions. All right, let's start with iOS and iPhone because I think this is the easiest solution to demonstrate. Now, by default, you get 16 steps of volume control using the buttons, right? Going from zero to 100% volume, it's always gonna be 16 clicks of the volume button. But if you want finer grain control, you can do that actually with the touch screen. So while this little volume control is on the screen, if you touch it, you can actually adjust volume with the touch screen, in which case you get much finer grain control. In fact, you can also access this via the control center by swiping down over here. I'll punch in so you can take a look at that closer. And again, just by adjusting this with the touch slider, you get much finer grain control. I think technically you get 64 steps of volume control when you're doing it like this. So that's like, instead of getting like five and a half percent volume increases with each click, you're now getting one and a half percent, which is still maybe not quite as fine a grain control as I'd like, but it's certainly a lot more usable and a lot easier to get the volume level that I want on these earphones. Now, the one downside here, and the kind of a caveat, is that this will not work over Bluetooth, right? If you're listening to a Bluetooth headphone, this, this trick of using the touchscreen to control the volume, well, you can do that, but you're not gonna unlock any additional steps of volume. You're still limited to 16 steps of volume. And unfortunately, this is just gonna be a running theme throughout this video. That is the case no matter which device you're using. So that's a bit of a limitation, but if you're just trying to control the volume of either the, the speaker on your iPhone, or maybe you've got headphones connected with like an external USB connector like this, well, that is the way that you unlock better control on iPhone. All right, now in Mac OS, we've actually got a couple of solutions to getting better volume control. One of them is pretty obvious and one of them is a little bit secret. So let's start with the obvious one, right? If you have your volume control in the menu bar at the top of your Mac OS device, you can click on that and then you have a slider that you can click and drag and you just get much finer grain control. You don't just have 16 steps of volume. Again, I think you get access to 64 steps of volume. Now, if you don't have volume control in your menu bar, well, here's how you do it. So go into settings on your Mac OS device, look for the menu bar section, and then scroll down until you find sound. There'll be basically be a big list of options that you can enable. And then there's like a drop down menu to the right of it that'll make that'll let you say, always show the sound icon. And that'll basically just mean make it so that the, the sound icon is always available in your menu bar, which is what you want for this control. Now, the secret kind of hidden control for getting better volume control is actually a little known keyboard shortcut. So let me show you how to do that. If you're adjusting volume with your standard volume buttons, again, up here, you've got access to just 16 steps of volume. But if you want better control, hold down the shift key and the option key while you press the volume control keys. And as you do this, instead of the volume going up by, again, like five and a half percent each click, it's gonna go up by just 1.5% with each click. And that is just 
a lot better volume control over your Mac. Now, again, this isn't gonna work on Bluetooth devices, but for controlling the speakers in your MacBook or anything that you plug into the headphone jack, that'll do. Now, the solution on Android is a little bit trickier, and in some cases, even a little bit dodgy. But before we get to that, a quick shout out to our sponsor, Hi-Fi Go, for making waveguide videos like this one possible. Hi-Fi Go is just like a magic place. You go on this website, they've got all the latest Hi-Fi gear, where, whether it's like headphones, IEMs, digital audio players, all that stuff. And you just, you buy it, they ship it to you worldwide for free. It's, it's kind of wild. If you want to check them out, of course, I've got them linked in the description down below. But if you just want to know how to change volume steps on your Android device, well, let's get back to that because this is how we do it. So now, if you use a Samsung device like I've got here, you've actually got access to a Samsung specific store, which I think they just call store. And if you go in here and you search for an app called Sound Assistant, I'll show you what this looks like. Um, they've got this app called Sound Assistant. Install this app, and this is basically just gonna unlock more steps of volume. Basically, if you look down here, there is this change step volume setting. By default, it's somewhere in this region. I forget exactly what the default setting was, but by dragging the slider all the way down, let's see, I'll show you what it looks like all the way up, right? If I increase the volume by one step at a time, let's see, you can see that it makes a big step, a big leap with each click of the button. But if I drag this down to one, each click of the button is gonna increase the volume just by 1%, which, okay, you might find that that's actually a little bit too much fine grain control, but I actually find that it's kind of nice to have. Now, if you're using a device that is not a Samsung device, unfortunately, here's where the solutions get a little bit on the dodgy side. You can go into the Android Play Store, search for something like volume steps, and there's a bunch of different apps that have different levels of features. The one that I'm using here, uh, I found this one is Precise Volume 2.0. Also happens to have an equalizer. I'm not sure about that exactly, but I'll just say this, right? This app does what I want it to do. It gives me precise control over my volume steps. I can kind of demonstrate it here for you. Actually punch in so you can see as I'm changing the volume, going up 1% at a time. The slightly dodgy bit here is that one, the free version of this app has ads, and two, it only works while you're in the app itself. If you want to have this level of volume control when you're in other apps, uh, as you probably do, you're gonna have to upgrade to the paid version of the app, which is fortunately, it's not that expensive. It's around six and a half, maybe $7. So pretty reasonably priced. And once you do that, I think it's worth it because now I have fine grain control over my volume, regardless of where I am in Android. Now, just before we, we hop away from this, I did wanna highlight briefly an app that you should absolutely not use. Uh, and, and I encountered this one yesterday. It is this one right here, Volume Control Lower or Boost. I played around with this app yesterday and it seems to probably do what I wanna do. But of course, like the other one, you, you have to pay for it in order to get the control you want. But this app charges like $15 a week which feels a little bit like a scam. So avoid this app, uh, but go ahead and use the other one. Again, I'll, I'll highlight it. It was Precise Volume Control or Precise Volume 2.0. This app was pretty good. Or again, if you're on Samsung, just look for the Sound Assistant app. And there you go, better volume control on Android, iOS, and even Mac OS, or at least those are the methods that I use. If you have your own hacks for better volume control, leave those in the comments down below. And again, a shout out to sponsor Hi-Fi Go for making waveguide videos like this one possible. Of course, I've got them linked in the description down below. And while you're down there, if you haven't yet, well, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, ding the YouTube bell, join me in Discord, also linked down below, and I'll catch you in the next Super Review. Cheers. Join with the force of reviews, we now have the tools to brave the misleading world of audio fools. Uh, hey, this review is super, and so are you. Grab your headphones, sniff a graph, and share your thoughts in this pursuit. Let's get into the future.